Could you actually survive a plane depressurization? It sounds terrifying, but modern jets are built for it. You just do not have minutes to react. You have seconds. At 35,000 feet, the air outside is too thin for your blood to absorb oxygen. That is why the cabin is pressurized to around 8,000 feet. If a window or panel failed, air would rush out violently, a rapid decompression. The cabin equalizes with outside air in seconds, not minutes. This is where survival depends on speed. At 35,000 feet, you have about 20 to 30 seconds before hypoxia makes you black out. That is why oxygen masks drop automatically the moment pressure falls. Pull, breathe normally, and oxygen starts flowing instantly. Pilots put on their masks first, then dive the aircraft to 10,000 feet where the air is breathable. Valves and systems handle the rest automatically. Triple redundancy keeps the fuselage intact. Airbus 320, 777, 787, all designed to survive thousands of pressurization cycles safely. What would it feel like? A loud bang, cold air, mist and your ears popping. But the jet remains fully controllable. Depressurization looks dramatic, but it is one of the most survivable emergencies in aviation. Just remember, put your mask on first, because at 35,000 feet, you do not get a second chance to breathe.